scientists often found layers of ash or sediments or rocks that are definitely coming from volcanic eruptions, but they're scratching their heads because there's no volcano nearby. Where could this come from? There's only maybe dormant volcanoes nearby. That happened quite a few times in history. And there's another mystery solved because one mysterious eruption that they couldn't figure out about 29,000 years ago was coming from Campi Flegre. And why is this important? Because the more eruptions we find that came from Campi Flegre. The more alarming it is what's currently going on at Campi Flegre with these earthquake swarms, with that unrest. Because if Campi Flegre has produced more eruptions in shorter intervals, the chances that we could see something again, they rise. Because if you only know, oh, this volcano erupted like 40,000 years ago and it erupts all 40,000 years or all 300,000 years. But then all of a sudden you found, oh, this erupted after 5,000 years. That is kind of what has happened here, what scientists have found out. So the caldera forming eruption of Campi Flegre that was roughly 40,000 years ago is the largest known eruption in Europe during the last 200,000 years. But little is known about other large eruptions at the supervolcano Campi Flegre prior to a more recent caldera forming event 15,000 years ago. So colleagues and scientists have found or have been able to match a 29,000 year old eruption with Campi Flegre, they could prove that it's coming from Campi Flegre because that eruption did spread a volcanic ash layer more than 150,000 square kilometers throughout the Mediterranean. And that's where ash layers and particles were found all over the place. So knowledge of large explosions is mostly established from geological investigations of the exposed deposits that they found right around the source volcano. It's called the source volcano. And with the deposits of large eruptions usually forming thick sequences that, that are really, really visible. However, since the late 1970s, there's a widespread volcanic ash layer that they were able to date back to about 29,000 years that was commonly identified in marine areas and lake sediment cores from across the Mediterranean. And it has definitely documented the occurrence of a large magnitude eruption. That they knew, but they didn't know where it was coming from. And so despite this widespread distribution and relatively young age, no clear evidence of such an event was identified at any of the main active volcanoes in the region. So they were like, woof, where is this coming from? So the team conducted a study with chemical analysis like volcanic glass. Volcanic glass looks pretty cool. It is an uncrystallized product of rapidly cooling magma. And like all types of glass, it is a state of matter of intermediate between the closely packed high ordered array of a crystal and the highly disordered array of liquid. And volcanic glass is formed when magma is rapidly cooled, as I just said and magma rapidly cooled to below its normal crystallization temperature becomes a super cooled liquid with further rapid cooling. This becomes an amorphous solid, how it's called, liquid glass. So the scientists looked at volcanic glass of an eruption deposit that they found five kilometers northeast of the Campi Flegre caldera in Naples in Italy. And interestingly enough, what they found, this volcanic glass is entirely consistent with the distinctive composition of this ash layer that they found everywhere else. So this 
new knowledge combined with new dating, new science that could date back the deposit what was basically near the source verifies that Campi Flegre was responsible for this widespread ash layer. And there we see what Campi Flegre can do. And you know, that's why the scientists right now are saying, can we at least evacuate the people that live right on the volcano? But even, at, I mean, five kilometers away, that's where they found these deposits. So make a radius. This is big already. And this stretches into Naples already. And then constraints on the size of the eruption uh, were determined by the team by using a computational ash dispersal model, that's how it's called, which has integrated the thickness of the near source eruption deposits. So everything that was in a radius of five kilometers around Campi Flegri, and they named it Masseria del Monte Taf. Taf is volcanic matter. And then they have compared it to those samples that they had from the related ash fall across all over the Mediterranean. And that's how they could match it. And that's why it is so important to really closely monitor what's going on in Campi Flegre right now. And can you believe thieves just stole yesterday batteries from, I would say, life-saving monitoring equipment around the Pischiarelli Solfatara area from these measuring stations that measure whether shit whether Shezi is hitting the fizzy or not. So how stupid are these people? So they, they stole batteries and cables. So they have probably severely damaged these these seismographs, these measuring stations that measure the temperature of the fumaroles, the earthquakes. So how stupid can you be? Because these people probably live in this area and they will be blown up as well if that volcano blows without a warning, without anything that could give the people a chance to evacuate. So how stupid do you have to be? Is greed that important? And then they also stole during the crisis just a few days ago with the earthquakes when they had lights set up that were running with battery to to regulate the traffic when there were collapsed homes that roads were blocked. They stole the batteries there too. So the officials and the mayor of Pozzuoli is, is really disgusted, I have to say by this, when you look at interviews. This is really, I don't know, I would even go as far as um, destroying, and this is destruction, the sensors of Campi Flegre, a super volcano that is dangerously rumbling right now, and that could eliminate hundreds of thousands of people in, in probably Europe's most densely populated area with Naples with more than 6 million people. I would say this is almost attempted murder in, in, a, in a crisis that they're having right now. And they just had more earthquakes after that big swarm. There was just today another 2.0, another 1.7, and then the other day 1. Point something. So it's not over, it's continuing. So it's upsetting. I'm upset about this. You probably feel this, guys. And I have a video that I just released. You should really watch this. First, the volcano in Indonesia, Lebo Tobi Laki Laki, strong eruption. Check it in the end screen. But also check that ground movement, that video surfaced about the 7.7 .7 Myanmar earthquake. Now a surveillance camera video has surfaced. So if you watch it first, you don't really realize. You look at cracks that are forming in the concrete. But if you look through the gate further behind, there you see the ground displacing. Like the road was like this first and now it's like this. It's amazing. And then you see towers collapse. You see so much more. It's I, If you haven't seen it, guys, it's a must see. Check out these videos in the end screen. Check them all out. So you have to subscribe. You have to look at my start page of my channel under the video set section under recent videos. There you find everything. And if you want to learn everything about Campi Flegri, I have playlists. Check it out, guys. 
Thanks for watching. If you want to support the channel, check out the links in the description. I have a Buy Me A Coffee site. Greatly appreciated. I'm supporting my farm with this. Thanks for supporting the channel with your monthly memberships, with your supers, with the coffees. My heart goes out to you guys. Without you, this wouldn't be possible. Your comments, your watching, your liking the videos, sharing with your friends. So keep doing that, guys. We're trying to get to the 100,000 subscribers. It's amazing. So be prepared, be safe wherever you are. I see you soon. Bye.